Right, welcome to my tutorial. This is a very quick look at how to port forward. First thing you're going to want to do is open up command prompt. So head over to the start button and then type in cmd. Then you're going to want to type in ip config. Oop. Then you're going to want to look for um, ethernet adapter local area connection then you want to go see default gateway and then follow to the IP address this is a local area um, IP and is generally the router that the little box that connects you to the internet in very in basic layman's terms you're going to want to connect to that now it will ask you it will sometimes ask you for a username and password if you don't know it the chances are it's not been changed, in which case you can head over to portforward.com. I'll be posting the link in the description. Um, basically it has a massive list of all the routers and modems and hubs that are currently available. It's pretty extensive. Uh, I'm just going to go to Netgear because I think I have one of these. Um, you select it, close the advertisements, not necessary. Then here you can select the game that you want to port forward for. I will just be doing Command and Conquer Red Alert free. Um, then it will tell you the default username and password. Um, right here, it will, it will somewhere on the page tell you the default username and password. Then we go back to this tab, hit login okay whatever that says and then go down and find port forwarding on the website there will also be uh, how to find port forwarding instructions somewhere down here this is probably the best guide to follow if you're confused about anything in the video you can just follow here it's pretty basic and everything's understandable in layman's terms anyway back here um, this is where you're going to be putting in the, IP, the ports that you wish to forward. You put in the name, the start port, which for Command and Conquer, let's just do the first one. Let's do 3783. And then you get head over to Virgin Media Gateway, or whatever yours is, hit in the port, I can't remember what it is, just use that. And then end it in the import, and then where it says local IP address now this is where you need to go back to command prompt and it is usually in the ethernet adapter local area network connection it is IPv4 address it is normally something higher than the default gateway you just enter the last number or whatever your modem asks for into the last area then you add, click add and that is pretty much it you're pretty much sus there um, if you're unsure as to what your make or model is for your router you can probably do a quick google search for it and see if you can find an image or you can just head over to the box itself and just look at it and just look uh, turn it upside down throw it against the wall I don't know burn it until you find a uh, model name and number um, that is very basically how to port forward it, the difficulty on how to port forward generally relies on which modem or router you have so different ones will have different difficulties